Hey coders, Darren here, and today we're going to be talking about Unity 3D's animation toolset Mechanim. And Mechanim encompasses their windows for the animation view and the animator controller view, uh, as, long, uh, as well as the API, so the programmable interface for actually programmatically manipulating animation. So Mechanim uh, includes all of that. Uh, so here is the animation window and the animator window. Right now they're both empty because we don't have any objects to animate. And in this short introduction, we're just going to be getting a cube to oscillate. So let's go ahead and go back to our scene. We can see here in our animation panel that no animatable object is selected. So let's go ahead and create the cube that we're going to be oscillating. And now we can see a uh, button showing up here to create an animator, which is the animation clip driver and that can contain and control multiple animation clips. And click, clicking create will also create a clip, uh, which we're going to call oscillate. So let's go ahead and, and click create. We're going to call this oscillate. I'm calling it oscillate because that's the actual function that this animation is going to be doing on the cube. Okay, and let's talk about a little bit this animation panel. So uh, a couple things along the top, we have a record button. Now when we click record, that means that anything that we modify on this object will be recorded into our dope sheet. The dope sheet is just a graphical representation of key value pairs from frames to uh, values such as position or rotation. So if I modify the rotation of this, we get a new set of keys showing up for rotation. And if you modify anything on rotation on either axis, it's going to record all values uh, for this frame. Okay, so moving on, we have play button, and we have like these skip frame buttons. Uh, and then we have the timeline here going from zero to one. Uh, the best way to think about this is in terms of frames. So think about one being one full second. We can see that it goes from 55 to one. That's because uh, about 60 frames should be about a second. Now this is of course dependent on your frame rate. Uh, but that's the best way to think about this is in terms of seconds. So what we're going to do is back out a little bit to erase those keys. So we want this to oscillate from zero on the Y to one on the Y. So it's going to look like it's bouncing up and down. And again, the cool part about Mechanim is that we don't need to program anything necessarily. So I'm going to go down to my position transform and I have the record button selected. I want to make sure that I'm starting off on the zeroth frame at zero, zero, zero. So at zero seconds, my cube is going to be moved to zero, zero, zero. Now to demonstrate exactly what that means, I'm going to stop recording and move this cube way off into the distance. Now when I hit play, my cube is going to be moved to zero, zero, zero because that animation controller is running that animation on the cube. And at zero seconds, it's going to be at zero, zero, zero. So um, let me go ahead and show you guys the animator controller. Uh, now, because I created that animation on this cube, we can scroll down in our inspector and see the animator controller component right here. And the value for the animator controller has already been added. Uh, the animator controller and the animation clip are down here in our assets pane. Let's go ahead and open up the animator. And if I click on my cube, we can see we have uh, this entry and that entry goes straight to oscillate. So that's why when I pressed play, it automatically ran the animation clip, which started me off at zero, zero, zero. Now later we can do a lot of cool things with the animator controller, uh, such as transitioning in different ways between uh, different animation clips based on certain parameters, such as bools or floats, things like that. Uh, so we're not going to get into that much detail in this introduction but that is something to be aware of. Now let's go back to scene. Let's go ahead and get this animation going, uh, this oscillation or oscillating animation going. So let's click on the cube. And what we want to do is have this go between zero, one, and zero uh, on the Y axis. So if I go ahead and click record, we know that we're at zero, zero, zero here. Now let's go ahead and click on our timeline where we want our next frame to be. So we'll say at the half second mark, which is 30 seconds or the, the 30th frame. And we can go and double click on this second bar down here. And that's going to actually create our keys for us. Uh, so that's duplicating these, these keys right here. It's going to duplicate the most previous, the most recent keys that you've had added to the dope sheet. 
Uh, now, if I double click that, it's going to create it for me. And I can go down here since we're recording and just modify the Y to what I want it to be at the 30th frame. So if I click up here on my timeline, we can see at zero, the zeroth frame, uh, the cube is down here. At the 30th frame, the cube is up here. Now we want this to loop, of course. So I'm going to click on the first, uh, second or the 60th frame here, double click here to duplicate those keys. And then I'm going to move the Y position back down to zero. And when I simulate this, so I press play, we can see that we have a nice oscillation animation with our cube. And that's simulating. Now when I play it, I can actually uh, enter that animation clip automatically because our controller goes from entry to oscillate without us having to do anything. So that's going to conclude the introduction to Mechanim. Coming up, a couple tutorials that we're going to do is a Mechanim tutorial on animating a doorway and a Mechanim tutorial on animating some menu pages for transitions. All right, so I hope to see you guys in those tutorials, but thanks for watching. Leave a like if you learned something. If you have questions or requests on what we can do with Mechanim, then please leave those in the comments as well. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.